everyone, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Jurassic News. Today, we have a special guest. D.A. Patel. My name is D.A. Patel, and today we're studying an animal called the Paraceratherium. It evolved into two of the biggest um, land animals that, that live today. The elephant and the rhino. And, and you can't forget the hippopotamus. For sure, known as a hippo. Yep. The Paraceratherium was as big as a killer and as heavy oh. as Tyrannosaurus. It was even bigger than today's largest animal, the, the African elephant. Paraceratherium mm. was the largest land mammal that ever lived. And I mean ever. Bigger oh than T-Rex. What? Yep. It fed by wrapping its flexible lips around branches to rip leaves off. It, it was hunted by um, um, carnivores like um, saber-toothed tigers, a.k.a. Um, smilodons, which I will show, show to you here. And from our last video, you must know, Smilodon evolved into something else, tigers. So it was, it, it was, it lived in the time of megatheriums, woolly mammoths, um, uh, titanuses, and other animals. But in it. And most of, most ex important of all, it lived in the time of Megalodon, aka Megatooth Shark. So, so it was <laughs> it ate plants like um leaves and ferns and stuff like that, and and was a herbivore. Also, did you know that this type of dinosaur did not live during the Ice Age, but lived after? Like, you know, around the time when green grass and all that. Like today. Hmm. Except no cities or cars or people. Yeah, yeah, no cities or cars or people. Well, there were people, the cavemen. It was also haunted by them. But not civilised people. Like us. Yeah, not, not civilised people. Like today. It was it a was really fat animal and, <laughs> and it was twice as tall and... In like ten times wider than us. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see from look in the if you look at the corner of the card, bigger than people. Yeah. Also, like rhinos and elephants, they were herbivores. That explains why rhinos and hip. That's how it explains why rhinos and elephants were herbivores. But the hippo was evolved to live in the water, and there are not many sea plants in like rivers and lakes. Seaweed mm. lives in the ocean, so it had to become a carnivore to survive. Actually, the hippo is not a carnivore; it's a herbivore. It only kills and it herbivore. only kills people. It's it's actually a herbivore, despite common belief. Whoa, you really are an animal expert. Yeah. So, anyways, this this if you want to know how it got its tusks. How hippos, hippos and rhinos got their tusks and elephants. The Paraceratherium also had tusks. What? Yes, it did. Oh my god. Basically, a big elephant. And do you know how most an most mammals are covered in fur? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but but um hippos and rhinos and elephants you can't really see the fur right wait what you can't see it i mean i thought they didn't have any fur at all they did that that's why they're classified as mammals well paraceratherium you can't see the fur either so so yeah that's the end of today's video thank you for watching and don't forget to check out D.A. Patel's YouTube channel about Minecraft and other video games that are very popular. Yep. I think you can say subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the thumbs up button and, and ring the notifications bell. Bye-bye.